things up, I guess I'm gonna leave. Before I go, remember the famous words of Lady Godiva who once said to her husband, but honey, you said I should learn to ride Burback. Hey. Burback. <laughs> Burback. Burback. Burback, Nevada. Anyone in the closet? Okay. Wonder who's in the closet today. Yikes! Chief oh. Kelly! Hey, hi! Dean, let me tell you why I'm here. Right. Will you come in, miss, please? You see, Dean, we're having a charity drive, and we wondered if you'd like to buy a kiss for a worthy cause. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't give him a $20 bill. <laughs> hey, be sure and watch Gene on his great new show, The Funny Side, right here on NBC, Tuesday nights at 9.30. Well, there must be another customer here. Hey! Hey, no! How are you, Bob? Let me see it. I feel. Oh, all right, all right. How's the show going, all right? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Good, I'm beautiful. glad I hear that. Beautiful. And all my customers are crying. Yeah? Everybody's crying. Yeah, they got the weeps, you know, the recession, the depression, the, the misconstruction. Ain't that ridiculous? <laughs> you know, depression, that's a rumor started by a lot of guys that ain't working. <laughs> you know what scares me, Dean? I want to tell you. You know, you got kids, right? Yeah. It's what's happening to the kids. That's the whole bit. Like, the kids are growing up so tight on account of that, that, uh, that uh, low clavicle, you know, with the economy. That's all the money is genuflecting, and nobody knows what's happening. <laughs> It's scary. I had a bunch of kids in a barbershop, some Cub Scouts, and their wives. It's frightening. <laughs> I mean it, they ain't no more little kids. You know, they're growing up too fast. They got no, no place to look for insulation. You know, that's what's wrong with the kids. They need heroes. I think kids need heroes. We had heroes, right? Remember in Steubenville, you had heroes? Yeah. Batman and, and, and Superman and Green Hornet. And Yellow Jaundice. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? They run away from home. Don't that scare you? Oh, yeah. Ain't yes. that a thing when kids run away? That upsets me. Kids don't gotta run away. Uh. I mean, really, truly. A boy especially. You know, it's a cycle, right? Man, don't. There comes a point in the life of a guy when he gotta split. Uh. It, when you gotta cut that umbrella cord and split the nest. That's the truth. <laughs> that happens with different guys. You know, an Irish kid. If he wins a fight with his old man, he gotta split, right? A Jewish boy, if he wins an argument with his mother, he got a split. Right. You notice how Italian boys, very rarely, they leave home? Sure, his father and his brother-in-law build him a house in the backyard. <laughs> how do you know that? I know that. Yeah, hey, I know that. But you know what else? There's no chastity. That's what's wrong with the kids. They got no chastity. We had chastity. Our mothers and fathers, they had chastity. Our forefathers and our foremothers, all them guys, they had chastity. You look in that book, I'm telling you, everybody had chastity. They were chaste. The good people were chaste. Ruth and Naomi and Esther, every one of them were chaste. And some of them got caught. That's the truth. <laughs> By their own cousins. I'll tell you something, that's where it's at, though. That's really where it's at. You teach kids biblical stuff, they're gonna be okay. I tell that to the kids. The kids come in the shop, I tell them the truth. I tell them about the ancients. This is what you tell kids. You tell them about, like, uh, like the time of the, the, the Roman insurrection when the serum didn't come and they all got boils. You remember that? Like how Joshua blew a trumpet at the wall of Jericho and the wall came tumbling down and there was a big investigation, the contractor went to jail. Remember that? That's what you tell kids, how they flung Daniel in the den. You remember that? Flung him in the den. Flung him? People said, who flung Daniel then? They said, the king flung Daniel then. People said, the dang king flung Daniel then? Everybody went, do-da, do-da. <laughs> hey, listen, Dean. I gotta go, I gotta see a couple more questions.